Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to my channel and to uh, a very warm day in my non-air conditioned house here. And with the help of Smirnoff Ice, I am going to do another video showing you my TV show collection. And hopefully I can do one more video after this and I'll have this uh, little project finished. So let's, let me take a drink of um, courage here. Let's go. Starting off now, uh, we finished off the last video with the Mary Tyler Moore Show. And that's a nice place to stop. But So we're still on the letter M. Here was an obscure medical show from the 1950s called Medic, starring Richard Richard Boone. I think this was a syndicated program. Not sure how many uh, years it was on. But it was a pioneering medical drama, very serious shows, a lot of controversial subjects. And this has four episodes on it. Charles Bronson is in one of them, and I think Dennis Hopper is in another. And um, they, they used to have a lot of these. Uh, I used to have a lot of these on VHS, but of course I don't have my VHS collection anymore. But a lot of these are for sale at oldies.com, and I think I'd like to start collecting more of them. Medic. Okay, next up, this two-volume set of a, a space drama from 1959-1960 called Men Into Space, starring William Lundigan. And I remember watching every single episode of this when I was a kid, but I don't remember anything about it, so it'll be fun to get back into it. All right, next up is uh, the best of the Mickey Mouse Club, okay? It's got shows from 1957 like uh, Anything Can Happen Day, Guest Star Day, all kinds of uh, little projects that they did. Mickey Mouse Club, just fun stuff from my, my childhood. Next up, this is a nice little Blu-ray collection, shows, performances I should say, from uh, some of the episodes of Midnight Special, which was a terrific show, which I wish they... I don't know why they keep putting out these little compilations that are kind of, um, you know, select performances and people. I wish they'd just put all the shows out because I, I remember watching all these. They were wonderful. It's got people like uh, Carlos Santana, Barry Manilow, Jim Croce, Van Morrison, uh, Hart, Aretha Franklin, Steve Lee Dan, Ario Speedwagon, Dolly Parton, all kinds of people. And, and uh, stand-up comedy performances by people like Billy Crystal, George Carlin, Freddie Prince, Steve Martin. Richard Pryor, Joan Rivers. Uh, we also have uh, performances by uh, Linda Ronstadt. Really a lot of good stuff on here. Great music. Um, and it was, I think almost all of it was live. I think they, I think there was very little lip syncing going on in this program. I could be wrong. Midnight Special was a very cool show back in the day. Next up is another BBC drama starring Maggie Smith. It's called The Millionaires. And I don't know anything about it. have not gotten into it yet. Next up, speaking of BBC, we have... Uh, volume 3 of one of the Miss Marple uh, emanations. This one's starring Joan Hickson. I think she's probably one of the best people to play Miss Marple. And this has, um, let's see, three discs. So I guess, how many shows on here? No, I'm not really sure. But uh, this will be fun. All right. Next up we have, you remember this show, folks? How many of you are as old as me? Mr. Ed. This is Volume 2 of the best of Mr. Ed. Don't ask me where volume one is because I don't have it. But uh, this is cool. It has, this has the, the episode that Mae West appeared in, which is pretty memorable considering she just appeared out of nowhere and suddenly she was talking to Mr. Ed. So that was, that was pretty funny. Next up is uh, season one of an old show from the 1960s, Mr. Novak, starring James Franciscus as a, a, a very uh, concerned, sort of overly concerned, um, a compassionate teacher in, in a big city high school getting involved with his students and all kinds of different things uh, that were going on in the 1960s that were being talked about, juvenile delinquency, teen pregnancy, uh, dropouts, gangs, all, all kinds of cool stuff. And uh, Dean Jagger plays the uh, principal of the high school. I think there were two seasons of this. I don't know if the second season will come out, but this is really nice to have. A lot of uh, famous names of the time, people like Shelley Fabre, and uh, Frankie Avalon, you know, uh, Tony Dow from Leave it to Beaver, they kind of show up. So, yeah. Here they come. The Monkees. Finally got these. Both seasons. How can you live without having the Monkees? All right. Next up we have, uh, this is a BBC. Well, I guess it's a public television. Maybe not B BBC, but it's uh, the history of the monarchy, the British monarchy. 
one of my favorite subjects. So uh, I have actually watched this. It's very, very cool. Very good. All right. And next I have, back to Britain, we have one of the compilations of Monty Python's Flying Circus. I haven't watched all of these, but I have watched some. And uh, I enjoy that, that, that type of comedy, even if I don't always understand it. But yeah, Monty Python, I'd like to see more. Here's a thin pack that I picked up at some uh, flea market or something. A couple of episodes of, of a 1950s TV show, comedy mystery called Mr. and Mrs. North, starring Richard Denning and Barbara Britton as a, a big city uh, married couple living in Greenwich Village who uh, keep getting involved in uh, murders and all, this, all that kind of cool stuff. Next we have, oh, here we go, The Munsters. How can you live without those? I like The Munsters. I never missed that when I was a kid. This is something I picked up at Big Lots. This is uh, the complete second season. Don't ask me where the other seasons are. Murder One, okay? Five bucks. I was not going to turn it down. Next up, I have four, the first four seasons of Murder, She Wrote which I picked up at Barnes & Noble uh, about a year or so ago because they were they were on sale. I, I always liked the show when it was on back in the day. So uh, I'm very happy to have these great shows. Angela Lansbury. Let's see, where do I go next? I go over here. Okay. All right. Now, here we are. This is one of my favorite shows from the 1960s. Two seasons. No, three seasons. Sorry. My Favorite Martian. Starring Bill Bixby and um, Ray Walston. Ray Walston was a Martian who happened to land in Bill Bixby's uh, backyard, and he uh, he started living with him. His, his name was Tim um, Tim O'Brien or something like that. And uh, of course, the Martian they, they just called him Uncle Martin. And it, it's just a great comedy. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it has a little sort of science, science fiction-y type things going on and uh, great great chemistry between these two these two actors. Very, very cool show. Next we have um, Christian Slater, complete series, something called My Own Worst Enemy. Another thing I picked up with Big Lost, don't know anything about it. Maybe you guys have seen it. Next up I have the first two seasons of the old CBS show My Three Sons, which are here in four volumes. Fred McMurray, and uh, let's see, his, his sons were played by Tim Considine from Spin and Marty. Uh, let's see, I can't remember the other guy's names. I, I just completely forgot the other guy. Um, Don Grady, and who played the who played the little kid? Barry Livingston. Okay, with uh, or no, Stanley Livingston. Sorry, with um, Fred Mertz, William Frawley. William Frawley as the uncle who was sort of the uh, Living housekeeper, very funny shows. Uh, all right. Next up, we have uh, have these three different compilations from an old TV show called Naked City, which has uh, it's not not complete in, in any way, shape, or form. It has a lot of different uh, episodes, all in pretty good uh, pretty good visuals. And I found this one at uh, Dollar Tree, so yeah, those are nice to have too. Okay. Next up, I actually got around to buying the entire series of Night Gallery. Okay. Next up is uh, 50 episodes of One Step Beyond, which is a show that came out around the same time as Twilight Zone. And, and the, the uh, plots and all that are, are a lot like Twilight Zone. So yeah, it's not really uh, as well known as Twilight Zone. Next up. Okay. All right. Next up I have two seasons of Outer Limits. Love this show. Absolutely love it. Now, I haven't watched any of these in a long time. I understand these have come out in Blu-rays, so maybe someday, uh, uh, if these don't work as well as they used to, I might actually get the Blu-rays. I don't know. We shall see, right? Next up, we have The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet. Uh, Long-running family comedy. Let's see. I think it started in 1951 or 52. Before that, it was on the radio. Ozzy and Harriet, of course, a married couple. They use their own two sons, David and Ricky. And, and Ricky, during the, the course of the show, grew up and, and uh, became a rock and roll star, a, a genuine rock and roll star, one of the, one of the best in all of history. And uh, so I have these compilations here. And then I also have even more Ozzy and Harriet with all these episodes. So I love Ozzy and Harriet. This is the way life should be, you know. That's exactly the way things should be. Next we have, um, I have seasons one and two of the Partridge Family. This is a show I did not watch 
when back when it was on, I guess I was just of an age where I was, uh, I think I was working at night at that time, or I just wasn't interested in watching this, this TV show, but everybody knew about this, and I remember their records. So, so now I'll catch up, and I'll watch some of the Partridge family. So next up is, um, this is something I picked up. It's kind of an obscure show from the 1950s. It's called Patterns, written by um, original screenplay, story and screenplay by Rod Serling, uh, pre-Twilight Zone. It stars Van Heflin, Everett Sloan, Ed Begley, Beatrice Strait, and Elizabeth Wilson. Uh, it's all about uh, the, the business world in that time. I guess it's uh, just very uh, analytical and all that stuff. I don't know. This is, um, this is an old show, Person to Person, starring Edward R. Murrow. It was an interview show. I can't remember exactly when this was on, but they've got episodes from 1953. Well, I guess it was on from 1953 to 1959. And this has episodes of different Hollywood personalities. And it has interviews with Bogart and Bacall, Marlon Brando, Tony Curtis and Janet Lee, Gene Kelly, Betty Davis and Gary Merrill when they were married, Kirk Douglas, Charlton Heston, Sophia Loren, Marilyn Monroe, Paul Newman and Joanne Woodward, and Elizabeth Taylor and Mike Todd, one of her husbands. And uh, I remember the show very much when it was on there were other uh, volumes of this that found these at a grocery store of all places. I wish I had bought the rest of them. They had, I think they had sports figures and political figures, but I, I wanted the uh, Hollywood folks, so I grabbed that. Next up, Pee-wee's Playhouse Christmas Special. This is so much fun. It's got people like uh, Frankie and Annette, Charo, um, let's see, Jaja Gabor, Whoopi Goldberg, Magic Johnson, Grace Jones, good grief. Oh, it's really cool stuff. Next up, I have, um, well, I have Peter Gunn. Years ago, I bought these nice two compilations of um, selected episodes of Peter Gunn. Very nicely uh, remastered with little extra features and all kinds of cool stuff. And then a couple of years ago, somebody put out the entire series. Now, Peter Gunn was on 1958 to 1961. Great, great little mysteries, half hour, black and white, sort of like, film noirs that were 30 minutes long every week with great jazz music by Henry Mancini starring um, Craig Stevens as Peter Gunn, Private Eye, also Herschel Bernardi as uh, the police detective that he worked with quite often, had a nice little interesting uh, uh, sort of a, an abrasive relationship with, and also Lola Albright played Edie Hart who uh, sang in, in a nightclub called Mothers where uh, they would all hang out and uh, of course Peter Gunn and Edie Hart had this nice little romance going on. Very, very cool shows. Love them. Love those shows. Uh, let's see. What else have we got? I think I'm all done here. We might have some more. Hang on. Finally, we have um, another BBC or PBS show. This is the, the TV version of The Prime of Miss Jean Brody, starring an actress called Geraldine McGeewan. And I've, I've never even seen the movie of The Prime of Miss Jean Brody, but I have this. So, And here are a couple of episodes of a great TV show comedy from the 1950s, Private Secretary, starring uh, movie star Ann Southern. She was sort of, sort of doing a TV version of the, the character of Maisie that she did in a series of films at MGM. And uh, just a great personality, very, very funny lady, and uh, yeah, something else I remember finally when I was a kid. I bought this from oldies.com. This is volume nine of an old TV show that they're they're putting out. They have, I think they're putting out several volumes of the well, at least nine anyway. Shall I stop battling, Mike. Uh, Public Defender, starring Reed Hadley, little mystery short stories. And the reason I bought this is because in one episode, it's got Charles Bronson. A very young Charles Bronson and one of my favorite uh, actors from the old days a guy named Frankie Darrow who at, at five foot three inches tall has a, an argument with Charles Bronson in this particular episode and he gets a slap him right across the face and it's so cool watching this uh, this short guy as a short guy I really feel this way looking up at Charles Bronson the ultimate tough guy belting him like that so yeah that's a classic and finally I uh, I picked this. These I picked these up cheap, I should say. Seasons one and two of Quantum Leap, and then this became available, the entire series of Quantum Leap in this very ungainly, badly packaged compilation uh, from Mill Creek Video. This is all. This is about to fall apart here. It's supposed to be closed at the top, and it doesn't. But anyway, I, I haven't watched any of these yet. I've never watched an episode of Quantum Leap. 
So I have a lot of things to do, a lot of things to catch up on. Thank you for watching, and I'm going to try to do one more video, like I said, and then I will be done with uh, showing you my TV collection. Thank you for watching, and uh, comments are welcome.